Google's Performance Max campaign versus a Google search campaign. If you've ever wondered which type of campaign you should run in your business, you're definitely going to want to check out this video because I walk you through a live Google ad account, which is running both a Performance Max and a search campaign. And I compare the difference in performance for each of those campaign types and kind of what you can expect. It's worth mentioning that the account used in this video is an e-commerce store. So if you do not have an e-commerce store, then what you'll find is you'll get vastly different results than this particular client account. And this client account does have quite a large budget, which definitely does change the results if you don't have as large a budget. So don't forget, if you like this video, hit that thumbs icon and subscribe. Let's go do this. So here we are in a live Google ad account and my apologies, I have had to blur out the sensitive data, but for the purpose of this video, really there's no need to know that information because we're comparing the performance of your performance max campaigns versus a search campaign. Given what a performance max campaign is, which is your ads sprayed across the entire Google ad network, that is shopping, search, display, YouTube, discovery, Gmail, naturally you're going to get way more impressions as you can see here than a search only campaign. And really this is for a period of a month. As you can see, look how vastly different is the, uh, the impressions versus the impressions of the traditional search campaigns. So I don't really focus too much on impressions, but it's just interesting to point that out because obviously the performance max campaigns get way more exposure. But obviously if you compare the click through rate of your search campaigns compared to your performance max, they are vastly, vastly different. So, the other thing worth mentioning as well is that the CPCs are definitely higher for a search only campaign than you find for performance max. And that's because generally speaking, CPCs are cheaper on display. And so this is an average CPC. And so therefore, you know, average, uh, you know, the average uh, CPC across, you know, search and display will be lower than only search. So it, performance max data will not tell you the CPC for the search component of it. So you can't really compare apples with apples here, uh, but just know to expect that your CPCs on average will be higher for a search only campaign. If we scroll across a little bit, one thing we do want to look at is our conversion rates. And we can see our conversion rates for performance max are actually not too bad. And that is because I believe it's a function of our performance, these particular performance max campaigns actually having a really good budget. You do need a healthy budget uh, of, I would say a minimum $200 a day or even $300 a day just for Google to get enough data so that they know who you want more of and who you want less of and therefore they can get really good conversion rates. The conversion rates here of the search campaigns, so this is an e-commerce store, are pretty average, I would say, but really with a, um, a an e-commerce store, it's all about ROAS. And so if we scroll, um, where is it? So if we scroll here, we can see our conversion value divided by cost is our ROAS metric. And amazingly, our the ROAS of our performance max campaign is actually, you know, one of the best performing, I mean, compared to this one down here, but that doesn't get nearly as much volume. So our performance max is actually working the best here and it has got the highest quantity. So it's had the highest quantity of conversions, the highest number of conversions with the highest ROAS. So honestly, this is quite rare for me to see this. And uh, of course, our search campaigns are yielding quite a good ROAS as well. And they are kind of on par with the other performance max campaign as well. So really performance max campaigns are really, really different to search campaigns in obviously where the ads are shown and the likely impressions, click through rates that you will get and actually average CPC as mentioned. But hopefully the ROAS is at least better than search or at least on par.
So there you have it. That's how easy it is to compare the performance of a Performance Max campaign versus a search campaign. If you've got any questions, please let me know in the comments. I'd love to hear what you think. And don't forget to check out our website, teachtraffic.com for more awesome training courses. And don't forget, like and subscribe. Thanks for watching.